It's Sunday the 4th of February here in Revelstoke. The warming period is over. Uh, it's getting cooler. There's snow in the air. Time to go see just what conditions the runs are in. We might have to use some caution. See the damage. Bit of soft snow in there on the top anyway. Let's see, I will jump on the connector. Woo! Joke of the day, why do cows have food? Because they lack toes. Okay, first run of the day, starting on the upper part of Pitch Black, onto the Ripper connector, down to the base of Ripper chair, and first impressions. Uh, it's icy, yeah, it, it's icy, which I think is to be expected with the uh, refreeze. Um, just eventually we've got to hope that that comes with uh, some big snow. But uh, there has been a few flurries around and there is a little bit of uh, light snow on top of that. So it's just really uneven and mixed. And like you'll go through some crusty areas, which you probably heard, but then maybe a little bit of uh, soft snow and then also a patch of ice. So my advice right now is to anyone coming is to sharpen your edges. Do sharpen that.
Ooh, not good rocks. The visibility is good today. It looks like Lower North Bowl might be open. Now I doubt it's going to be super in there, but I'm curious to actually see and feel what it's like. I could see some avalanche debris already, actually. Let's go check it out. Into Lemming Line. Let's see what the sign says. Ginormous chunks of ice, debris, and tree bombs. Skiing not recommended. Okay. Well, let's just head up there and suss it out. Make a judgment call at the top of dropping. Oh boy. Just on your left, lads. Oh, here you go. I'll make you look. Okay. On the top of dropping. Well, it's the only way of filming something in this. Let's give it a go. Woo. Holy. Woo. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Woo. I can feel some powder. A little bit of ice, but it's. Nice and soft. Whoa. Woo. Woo. Oh. I think that was good. Uh, definitely avalanche debris in there, huh? All of this right here. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, there's been... There's been an avalanche in here. Whoa! Look at that slide off. Whoa! Okay. Just, uh... oh. Like a little, oh, slides. Whoa. Whoa. I think some days you've just got to say, Do you know what? It's a day for skiing on groomers on piste. Uh, and it's times like this I really wish I still had my uh, my Rossignols from my time in Austria. You know, just a good set of carvers because uh, this would kind of be perfect. The, these Solomons QST blanks, um, you know, there are all mountain skis, but they're leaning towards the free ride side. So I can pretty, I can rip it up nicely on a groomer, but I, sometimes, especially when there's a thin snow coverage like today, I, I, I'm not fully confident when I'm like uh, exaggerating my turns. Um, but thinking positively, look, we're in a transition here, right? We, 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 the temperatures have dropped again now, so naturally there's this freeze cycle. It's snowing. Um, there was some little bit of soft snow, so it's not wet snow which is falling. And like I said before, a little bit of more snow, things will make a huge difference. I think what I want to do now is try and explore a little bit more of some of the mid mountain sections because I know that's been really impacted the most. Um, so I'm thinking rodeo top to bottom here uh, and we'll switch back to the Insta. Uh, snow's getting a little heavier up top. No. 
Okay, so now we're going below the stoke chair, below the freezing level, I'd say. Still on the mid part of rodeo. Uh, and we'll see what it's like down here. Not gonna lie to you guys, definitely feeling a little somber right now. Um, skiing around on, on sheets of ice is not a particularly fun and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and, and tell you guys that it's something that it's not. Um, and, and yeah, it's definitely a bit of the, I think the winter blues going round and, and that's just purely down to the, the conditions, right? You know, it only takes one one snowfall to, to, to improve it and um, flakes do seem to be falling a lot lower like we're just close to the mid station so things are uh, are falling lower but um uh, yeah with the changing cloud level and visibility i'm i'm trying to think what uh what to to do next and try and show you guys wow Face down here is just gone. It's just gone. And look at this. Oh, we've got like a Revelation Lodge slush cut right here. <laughs> Whoa. Time for a coffee. Back up top, still pretty socked in, pretty much everywhere on the mountain right now. So, uh, I'm gonna try hot sauce, and then assess things after that. I gotta be honest guys, I don't think I'm gonna be staying out here much longer. into Tally Ho Glade just to see if it's any good. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. Not really. <sighs> Better on peace. Yeah, caution is definitely the name of the game today, especially here on Devil's Club, uh, which I'm hoping to then finish the day on Fast Freds. I hope, 
that's in a good condition, but this, oh boy, let's uh, take it easy. That's ice, very icy. As it stays cold, it's only gonna get better. Uh, they're gonna be able to make some snow in places lower down, they can move snow, they can actually piece some of the run, which I think they've only really been able to do as of uh, sort of Friday evening once the temps started to drop. So yeah, we're in a transitional period right now. It doesn't look good, but we have gotta just keep doing our snow dances um, and, and stay positive. You know, there's a still a long, long way to go yet in this winter. Um, but uh, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Uh, what's it like at other resorts if you've been as well? Let me know your questions in the comments section below. Uh, please do like this video uh, if you enjoyed it and you want to stay up to date with any more videos, you can hit subscribe. Appreciate you guys following with all the updates. I'll see you in the next video.